Welcome back to detention. It's time to head up to the roof. That was Ray. And they just committed suicide. Oh, it's a film. <laughs> Bloodstained. <laughs> of course it is. Well, I know exactly where to use that. Oh, here it is. It was on the, uh, the third floor. What's contained in this film? Nothing good, I can promise that. Zero two. F Wait. Bunch of numbers. Uh, these are probably for the phone. Here we go. Here's the room with the phone. Okay, zero two five, one two one. Oh, have to, <laughs> have to pick up the receiver to dial. Yes, that makes sense. Zero two five. One, two, one. Miss Fang, your country appreciates your assistance. What's left is only the dial tone. Now I have to go out there. So they must have unlocked something. Oh. Military police puppet. Alright, so we can go put that on the other hand. So, what's this gonna do? <laughs> nice. Key fell out of the puppet's body. Basement key. I didn't think a real bullet would come out of that gun. There's even the smell of gunpowder. The thing is, I've already been in the basement. Was there something that was locked in the basement? Oh. I don't even remember this door. Are these bugs coming out of the ground or what? What am I? What are those? Ash? Way. Thanks for doing this for me. 
Not at all. I'm always willing to help if you ask. So, sorry to have to drag you all the way here to my classroom. It's okay. My classroom has individual studies now. It'd be a bother if we were there. You're sure nobody else knows about these meetings, right? Of course, miss. Absolutely not. Uh, one thing, though. This book list is quite sensitive and material. Please be careful with it. Y yes, thanks for the reminder. I know reading these books could be trouble. But it should be your freedom to pursue knowledge, right? Yeah, I'm with you on that. In fact, I think Miss Yin also said something like that before. I think you just like her. You're both courageous and talented. You think we're alike? I can't compare to her anyways. She's the principal's daughter, and they're known to be a family of successful scholars. It's okay. I believe she thinks highly of you. I remember she gave your work a nice compliment once. She said, Strengthen thy wings, the sky's the limit. We've heard that before. I read that somewhere. I don't know if it was on the chalkboard or on a note somewhere. She really said something like that? Hey, let me ask you a question. I see Miss Yin and Mr. Chang chat a lot. Do you maybe know what kind of relationship they have? Look at this divide. From like this just dead, barren classroom to one that's, well, not exactly colorful or anything like that, but definitely alive, well lit, paper bag left behind by way, book club reading list, I've been weak, but you once told me the pen is mightier than the gun, wait, Oh, that is cool. With proper use, I could use this unassuming list to practically destroy those in my way. I was like, why does it have a picture of a gun? And I realized that's not literally because that's what it looks like, of course. It's it's metaphorical. It's, it has the power of a gun. This could end people's lives. Because the books on this book club reading list are banned. Oh, I'm on the other side of this now. This slow walk has me nervous. So I'm getting the feeling of guilt. Did Ray turn somebody in? Ruin someone's life? Oh, they actually reflect me. Cool. Actually, no, not cool. Mirrors are bad in horror games. Miss Yin? What are you doing over here? As a teacher, I always show concern for students who are a little rebellious. Remember what you did? What? Have you forgotten? Or do you not want to remember? You... Just a harmless piece of paper, right? Instead, I had to die. He had to die. And many other students had to die. Was it you? You just keep causing me trouble. You're driving me crazy. Sometimes when you trip up, you're never able to get back up again. How dare you. This is all because of you. 
You've ruined everything. If you had a problem, why couldn't you have come talk to me instead? Oh, shut up. If you were gone, none of this would have happened. Uh oh. If you weren't here, all would be well. Oh, there's even the sound of the stepping over the broken glass. Justice Cheng Huang. Mom likes to bring all her worries and concerns to you. Something I think is fruitless. But sometimes there's no one else to look to for help. My hands together in silent prayer. Here are my questions. I, Feng Rei Xin, invoke your guidance. Ask about prospects. Will I be able to live life by my choices and follow my heart down my own path? Yang Po, the laughing answer. Well, that doesn't sound good. So, I can only face reality obediently and wait until God knows when. Do I have any other choice? I also ask about family. Will my parents, who quarrel and fight, have a second chance together? The laughing answer. You cannot cry over spilt milk. Is that so? But that was my family. My mom and that person. We used to smile and laugh together. Ask about love. Will I be able to live a simple life with loved ones and family? Yin Po, the crying answer. Do not seek what cannot be. Ah, this was just a humble request. You can be so cruel. Do I ask for too much? Is life just a never-ending bitterness? Or is it all just me? Divine answer. So, it is because of me. Youth is hardly ever given a choice, pushed through the grind until their innocence fades away. I've become a wooden horse on the carousel of life, a jumbled mess of lifeless emotion. Infused with frantic energy, I spin ever faster. voices. Save point. Oh, that is a welcome sight. A radio? Seems like the static in the room is coming from this. Maybe I can get something if I tune it a bit. Oh, that's cool. I like... I'm, I'm seeing a surprising amount of 
interactivity, not just like a couple static choices. It's not like, you know, press right a bunch of times and each time you press right it like moves a little bit or something, but this thing actually has a dial and like the phone, the rotary phone, you have to actually grab the number and actually drag it around. Like it's pretty cool. This is the same. The atmosphere in the room's changed. Oh! I was thinking, yeah. That maybe that can be used to tune into different places. Ceramic piggy bank. Big round eyes waiting to be fed. someone's home. That would be the parents? That, uh, that person here has no eyes, just shadows. I do wonder about the father. Is that actually their father or someone else? Because they said, they talked about their mother and then the other person. Right? Not like my mother and my father, but my mother and the other person. It's a bit strange. I feel like mom's always been a traditional housewife. She doesn't complain, even when wronged. I really don't like that. There's no way to go into the past anymore. What does that mean? I don't understand why that's the description I get when I look at the food on the table? I don't understand. Back then, besides the New Year's, Dad never drank at home. So that is their dad. Back then, Dad never drank at home. So they became an alcoholic. Missed the days when he had jokes and stories to tell. There's alcohol all over the ground. Oh, <laughs> when it flashes, the eyes turn red. Uh, hey, wait a minute. The pendant. The pendant isn't in my inventory anymore. Where did it go? Ugh. What's this supposed to mean? I thought maybe I'd be moving the photographs, like aligning them, but I guess not. I mean, this looks like a number, right? That's like the number one. What is that, though? That's not like any number. Oh, wait. A glass juice cup. It flows with a dull melancholy. Or glows, rather. Great, I get to drink my own tears. Filled with sadness. Has a dim glow. Wait, what did that say? Doors locked. A strange quote on the door. Meet the right person at the right time. Well, I seem to be able to sort of scrub through time using the radio. Oh, they're gone. Oh, shit.
So I assume if we're on static, we're back. Yeah, we're back here. Let's go ahead and save. Does this door open? An old door. It's locked. Hmm. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to try to find some other places in time with the radio.